The purpose of this video is to give you an introduction to using the SOAP note screen. Um, and the SOAP note interface is found on the larger screen here, which is the electronic travel card, um, which has a lot more information than just the SOAP note. Um, you can see visit frequency, diagnosis and procedures, sticky notes, care plan information might be up here. Um, also on the left hand side you can see you can upload documents. These are PDF documents. Uh, you can also upload pictures. All right, in this case I can see that there is a new patient exam, a case history. I might want to just open that so I can refer to it while I am inputting my first SOAP note. So in a case history you can see that would usually include review of systems, family history, past history, uh, social history, uh, any other questions, some generic questions in here. Um, but you can see none of this stuff is found in a SOAP note. Necessarily there might be a couple little things that you might want to notate in your SOAP note. But the point I'm trying to make is that a SOAP note is not used as a history form or an exam form. It should never be used. Yes, there are some findings that can be noted in your SOAP note. For example, a range of motion study that you did uh, in your exam you can note the positive findings in your in your SOAP note, but it's not replacing an exam whatsoever. So please do not try to use this as an exam. A daily note should be used to show you what your plan of action has been for this patient to get them better subjectively and objectively. Also, it should be used to show another doctor. If another doctor came into your office right now, it should show them what your plan was and what they should be doing to improve this patient subjectively and objectively. All right. So that's the overview of the soap note.